Good morning. It's Wednesday. Uh, my new watch face doesn't have the date on it, April 6th. And I'm going to replace a dead ECM motor and control board in a Ream air handler for a condo complex in Long Beach that I did maintenance on five of their AC or six of their AC units. And it's in a drop ceiling, it's in a tight spot, so it's gonna be tough to get it out, especially with uh, without ruining the ceiling, but hopefully I get some footage. So I'm at the unit and it is up here. Had to lift the supply register out to get access to it. And I have a little piece of threaded rod here that should clear. It's uh, a little bit off of the opening, but I think I'll be able to pull it out. I have my new motor, my board, some croil, so I can loosen up the motor ready. And should be good. So here's our old motor, and the first thing I'm gonna do is make little markers on it so that I know exactly where these went and where to put them on the new ones. It may not be exactly the same, but I like to have it there just in case. And I'll flip it over. And I'll also, I'll put a marker on here after I let the coil sit on it so I can loosen that too. Got some coil on it. I'm also gonna scratch it, all the rust off with some scratchy paper to make it a little smoother so the fan puller can get it off. And for these screws, bolts right here, I have this Malco, uh, I believe they call it a 7 in one <coughs> Fits right on. Okay, so we have our new motor in, and this is the old board. Now, when I turn it on, our old board is responding, and our fan turns on. So I'm going to leave this board in. Uh, thankfully, because the board that they had given me is not the not the right board. Now it may have originally been the right board and this may have been changed, but I don't want to start changing all the wiring if I don't need to. And it's wired up to a fire alarm system, so I don't want to mess with anything and risk causing a bigger issue. I know it's working properly, and I guess the reason that it hadn't been blinking was because the fan motor just wasn't responding. I'm not exactly sure. I'm definitely going to ask Mike about it and look into it, but I thought that was interesting. That Once this fan works, the board works. It must be communicating in some way. It is an ECM motor, and it was super easy to get out. I used a brand new fan puller, and I had no issues. Now that we have it running, I am going to put the gauges on it because it was freezing when I was here last. And it is below 60 degrees, so I can't check the subcooling, but I'm still going to put gauges on just to get a rough idea, make sure that it, it looks good. I finished up with that. That went really well. Uh, refrigerant looked fine. Um, it's hard to tell when it's 40, 53 degrees out and raining, but it looked good. Uh, it's not freezing, so it should be good. Um, I was surprised that the fan motor after being put in, actually made the control board light up. Still not sure how that works, but that's gonna be it for this video. I have another maintenance to do here, but that's just changing filters, making sure the condensate line, everything basic, so not gonna record that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe.